Hi everyone, this is TI and welcome back to my channel. It's still the month of August and my theme for this month is a thankful heart. A thankful heart. A heart that is thankful to God for life, for his goodness, for his mercy, for his love, for his faithfulness, for his kindness. And Psalm 107 in verse 8 tells us that all oh, that men should or would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. So the scripture in Psalm 107 in verse 8 and I think it's also in verse 31 where it talks about men you know giving thanks to God uh, the King James Version says praise the Lord so all oh, that men would give thanks to God for his goodness and for his wonderful works you know to the children of men that would if you look at the word would it means that men ought to and that it is intended that they should that they would regardless of the circumstance that they go through so I don't know what it is that you are going through in your life that is injuring you from giving thanks to God it's very very easy to give thanks to God when things are going you know well when things are going your way when things are going positively it is very very easy and it is more difficult for you to raise praises to God when things are not going your way which sometimes does happen because I mean it's not every time that you celebrate Christmas it's not every time that you are you have your birthday it's not every time that you celebrate you know the fact that you just bought a house or you just bought a car you know some things happen in life that brings you down that weighs you down and the Lord expects you all the same to give thanks to him that's when why the Bible says all that men would give thanks to God for his wonderful works, for his goodness and his mercy. So in this month of August, like I started at the beginning of the month, it is necessary that we give thanks to God. It is necessary that we celebrate him. It is necessary that we appreciate him for his goodness and for his wonderful works. So what am I saying? You're a man, you are a woman, you're a boy, a girl, and you have had a very rough year January wasn't so exciting February was a bit you know somehow for you March April you were still waiting on God May June July and you're still trusting God August and you're saying God when is it going to happen I encourage you today give thanks to him the Bible says that all oh, that men would give thanks to God. He deserves your praise. He deserves your thanksgiving. The fact that you are alive means that there is still hope for you. You will still yet praise the Lord for those wonderful works that he will yet do in your life. This is the time for you to celebrate him so that the enemy will see that you are not moved by those things. That those things are not sh shaking you those things are not causing you not to give thanks to the one who deserves it so what am i saying again give thanks to god i have declared this month of august a month of thanksgiving a month where i express a thankful heart to god and i expect you i had encourage you to do the same thing and see what god will do in your life as I was turning to do this video, there's a song that just kept resounding in my head and I thought I would sing it as I round up this video today to encourage you that God hears you. And when you think that he doesn't hear you, go on your knees and cry out to him and let faith rise up within you. As faith rises up within you, you will see God move on your behalf. And I assure you, I promise you, that you will testify. That song says, hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayers. From the ends of the earth will I cry out to you. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that is higher than high. 
So when you feel that you can't go on, it is so difficult for you. Just cry out to God and say, Hear my cry, O oh God. Attend unto my prayers. From the earth of the earth will I cry out to you, Lord. And when my heart is overwhelmed, please lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Jesus, that is higher than I. He is not deaf. God hears you. He hears your cry. He will hear you. He will answer you. And He will deliver you. So that you can sing a song of thanksgiving. However, if you do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, this message is for you. Because it takes someone that has a relationship with Jesus to actually believe, even in the midst of the storm, that it will deliver you. So if you'd like to take that step today, it is very simple. The Bible says that with the heart, man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. If you'd like to take that decision today, I want you to just say this short prayer with me, and Jesus Christ will come into your heart, and you begin to walk with him, and he will lead you into the paths of righteousness. So say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today, I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God. I believe that you came to die for my sin. And on the third day, the Father raised you up for my justification. I invite you, Lord Jesus, into my heart today to be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope you were blessed by this video. Do like, share, and comment down below. And do subscribe for more updates. Till I come again next time, this is T.I. Remain blessed. Shalom.